the legacy you didn't know of John Lennon. Julian and Sean revealed. John Lennon rose to fame as a vocalist and guitarist of the Beatles, the iconic British rock group that sold over 1.6 billion singles since their rise in the 1960s. The songwriter welcomed his two sons, Sean Lennon and Julian Lennon, before his death on December 8, 1980. Meet his two children who are carrying on his legacy with music careers of their own. Widely regarded as the most influential rock band of all time, the Beatles soared to the top of the charts in the US and U.K. with hits like Hey Jude and Strawberry Fields Forever. The group's success was due largely in part to John's songwriting skills and the leadership role that he took on over the years. At the height of his fame, John married his first wife, Cynthia Lennon, in 1962. The pair met at art school while they were both in relationships with other partners. After spending time together, they both decided to break up with their other partners and give their relationship a shot. Cynthia and John went after she found out she was pregnant. They welcomed their son, Julian, on April 8, 1963. John and Cynthia were officially divorced on November 8, 1968, years after John met his second wife, Yoko Ono, for the first time. Cynthia died in 2015 at the age of 75 after battling cancer. John and Yoko became musical collaborators and were married on March 20, 1969. The couple took some time apart during their marriage and John began seeing May Peng with Yoko's blessing. John and Yoko reconnected and welcomed their son, Sean, on October 9, 1975. Shortly after Sean's birth, John took a step back from music to focus on raising his young son and repairing his marriage. News of John's murder at the hands of Mark David Chapman devastated the entire world in 1980. Julian was 17 at the time of the tragedy. In a 2020 interview on BBC Radio, Julian recalled the last conversation he had with his father. In the years since their father's death, both Julian and Sean pursued music careers of their own. As they both continue to carry on their father's legacy, Sean told NME in December 2010 that John was one of a kind. Julian Charles John Lennon Julian became the inspiration behind some of the Beatles' biggest hits in his early life, including Lucy in the Sky with Guymans and Good Night. He was five years old when his parents divorced in 1968. He admitted in an essay for The Guardian in 2020 that his relationship with his father became strained. Julian and John began reconnecting before his death, bonding over their love for music. In 1984, Julian released his debut album, Balat. The following year, the space singer earned a Grammy nomination for Best New Artist. In addition to his music career and six successful albums, Julian has also produced several documentaries and became a New York Times best-selling author. In November 2021, the three-part documentary about the Beatles title Get Back was released on Disney+. Julian attended a special screening of the film and shared nothing but kind words about his father on Instagram. Sean Taro Ono Lennon Much like his older half-brother, Sean decided from an early age that he also wanted to pursue music. He often collaborated with his mother beginning in his teen years before writing All I Ever Wanted with Lenny Kravitz in 1991. Sean released his first solo album, Into the Sun, in 1998. Two more albums followed before Sean began playing guitar and singing with multiple bands. Sean has collaborated with Miley Cyrus, Mark Ronson, and Lana Del Rey throughout his career. He also took his talents to the big screen, directing Carrie Fisher and Lindsay Lohan in the 2006 film Friendly Fire. The singer, who was just five years old when his father passed away, bears a striking resemblance to the Beatles' hitmaker with his long hair and glasses. He has always had a special connection with his father. What is your impression of John Lennon? Please let us know in the comments and let's discuss. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss our latest videos. Thank you.